Hello and welcome. Flickr is uh, giving the middle finger to free users. Basically, it's going to delete all your stuff. So now the question is how to get this stuff, how to save it. What you can use is this Flickr mirror app, I mean tool. This uh, was made two years ago, three years ago. Anyways, uh, you can download it from here. Just press here and then download zip. And then in a folder, you extract the zip file. I already accepted it here. And in here, you have to open a command line, open command window here, shift, right click on the white and then open command window here. If you only have the PowerShell option here, then open the PowerShell and type CMD enter once it's open. And the important thing is that you have to have Python installed. It can be Python 2 or 3 and you're in luck because I just published a video that shows you how to install Python on Windows. And then you will have to run uh, two commands at the very least. Pip install Flickr API. I already have it installed. And also pip install Python date util. util, util. I already have it installed. You can see uh, all the dependencies in here. And what you can do now is uh, run Python Flickr mirror. I'm going to go for double dash help. So what you just tell it, you tell it's the destination folder. So I'm just going to tell it to I'm just going to make a new folder here. Let's tell it here. You can uh, disable output. You can with dash Q. There are some options and I'm just going to go ahead and start. Actually, let me cancel this. Let me do that again. Uh, dash V here and enter. This opens a new browser window where you have to log into Flickr and then press OK, I'll authorize it. And you have successfully authorized the application. Okay, in this case, you have to copy this code and paste it in here. All right, photos will be mirrored, videos will be mirrored, unknown files will not be deleted, mirroring all files. All right, and it's starting. And here it goes, and photo stream, and the metadata is saved as some kind of text file. Let's try to open it. All right, so we have ID, owner, sensor, this, uh, I don't know what secret is, server, farm. Okay, we have the title, we have uh, the date, sensor, this. Send service and basically all the metadata. And now it's going to continue downloading photos until it's done, I suppose, which is probably going to take like a year. No, it's probably going to take uh, maybe half a day. All right, so this is how you do it. I'm at 80, 88. Well, this is 44 because there's one file for metadata and one file for the photo. So I am nearly at 50. Okay, I'm at 50 photos now. And it's just going to keep going. Oh, Flickr, why did you have to do this nonsense? Anyways, hope this is helpful. I am done. I think this is 1% or maybe... No, this is actually 0.1%. No, this is 0.05%. I have 10,000 photos on Flickr. What the heck? Oh, man. All right, so this is probably six hours after the fact. And uh, yeah, it was only half a day. And uh, everything is downloaded except for it tells me the videos, which if you have a lot of videos might be a problem, but thankfully not for me. I can download them manually, it says. Here be the folder. It's 23 gigs. Oh boy. Let's see if maybe small versions of these videos are in here. Let's search for 799. Again, seven, nine, 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 three, seven. No, apparently not. Nope. I was thinking maybe the metadata would have been saved. So now I just copy paste by pressing enter and pasting it into the URL bar of my browser. As you can see, the download starts automatically and has no file ending, which is annoying. I don't know why it says please save them in that directory. Like, am I supposed to run this thing again and then it's only then it's going to download the metadata? 
Really, at least the metadata should be saved. But hey, I'm not complaining. I only have like 10 files to deal with, which I probably don't even care about. Let's take a look at this video. I remember that. That was pretty cool. Okay, I'll just download these manually then. Alright, I hope this is useful. Make sure to subscribe to support this channel, and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!